A lot of changes have happened over DC, with Gunn and Saffron already making a multi-year plan ahead. With that in mind, as fans were wondering what will happen with Gadot's Wonder Woman 3, here's everything we know. Following Warner Brothers' merger with Discovery, the studio's DC Films division was reorganized into the vertical DC Studios, which is now co-headed by James Gunn and Peter Safran. Gunn and Safran's tenure at DC Studios is being followed by extensive planning for future DCU projects, in which Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman will undoubtedly play a key role. Diana's two solo films have been two sides of the same coin, even though Gadot's moment as the DC Universe's Wonder Woman has been generally very well received. One of the most cherished DC Universe films is Wonder Woman's origin story from 2017, but its sequel, Wonder Woman 1984, received a much more divisive reception. Diana's chances of bouncing back from Wonder Woman 1984's bash are quite good as DC Studios plans out upcoming DC projects, but it also deserves a look at why Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman 1984 were received the way they are. The tone of Wonder Woman 1984 significantly changed from its predecessor's World War I narrative. Wonder Woman 1984 plays like a superhero movie from the 1980s rather than just being a set in that era. Thanks to a style that successfully blended the Wonder Woman TV series from the 1970s with a Superman film starring Christopher Reeve. Though the addition of Cheetah and the overall campy tone made Wonder Woman 1984 a much lighter Wonder Woman film than the original, the sequel's abrupt stylistic shift made Wonder Woman 1984 seem like fluff in comparison to the epic adventure of Wonder Woman. While Wonder Woman 1984 wisely emphasized Diana's empathy as her primary characteristic, the really significance of Diana's warrior spirit ultimately made Wonder Woman 1984 a less powerful sequel. Diana's character revolves around the harmony between her good nature and her warrior fortitude, and all that is required for her future in the DC Universe is to restore that harmony. I wish to be you, the dream stone itself. The past few years have seen a lot of disagreement among viewers over DC. The DC movie universe has proven to be a little erratic, with requests to reintroduce the Snyderverse and the cancellation of the Batgirl film. Wonder Woman, however, has remained the only enduring feature of DC films during this time. Diana Prince's character is still a major part of the DCEU as it enters a new phase, despite the mixed reviews of Wonder Woman 1984. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. The project was sadly cancelled based on the most recent news, according to rumors that spread in December 2022 after director Patty Jenkins abandoned the film due to creative differences, the movie was dead at Warner Brothers. Apart from James Gunn's suggestion that Gal Gadot might reprise the role in the future, the announcement of the DCU's Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters, didn't reveal anything new about the future of Wonder Woman as a character. With the upcoming HBO Max series Paradise Lost, which centers on Paradise Island, the new DC Universe will, however, have an Amazonian project. The series is a Game of Thrones-style drama, according to James Gunn, and is set in an all-female warrior society many years before Diana. It's unclear whether this is an upcycled version of the original Wonder Woman spin-off project or a brand new endeavor. According to the reports, regarding the cancellation of Wonder Woman 3, the movie was only put on hold because Patty Jenkins left the project. After all, the studio wasn't happy with her initial story treatment, the best course of action would be to either find new directors or for Warner Brothers to come to an agreement with Patty Jenkins given the success of Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman and the DCU's hype desire for her to continue to star in Wonder Woman movies. Gal Gadot should continue to play Wonder Woman as one of the main superheroes in the DC Universe, and Wonder Woman 3 can and should be made. The biggest indication of where Diana's storyline might go in the future was provided in Zack Snyder's Justice League, Steppenwolf constantly makes fun of Diana about the mayhem he caused on the Amazons to get the mother box, which makes the moment when she delivers the killing blow and beheads Steppenwolf all the more impactful. Diana's final scene in the four-hour epic shows her gazing at the setting sun and mourning the loss of her sisters. With this scene, the Snyder Cut prepared the most emotional plot point of Wonder Woman 3, the return of Themis Kyra. Diana could go back to Themis Kyra and be reunited with her people and her mother at the time if Wonder Woman 3 was still in production. Diana's relationship with her mother is essential to the growth of her personality. She had the opportunity to tell Steve about what had occurred regarding the Great War, her personal life, and her defeat of Steppenwolf with the assistance of the world's greatest heroes. Given that Snyder's original intent was to have Diana take the throne by the conclusion of this third Justice League movie, Diana's return to Themis Kyra seemed to be an unavoidable plot point for her character. This would have been an important turning point to include in Diana's journey. 
But he's gone. And that's the truth. One of the best superhero pairings to appear on screen is that of Gal Gadot's Diana Prince and Chris Pine's Steve Trevor. Their romance was a standout in both Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman 1984. After Wonder Woman, Steve Trevor initially offered himself as a sacrifice. Diana uses the Wishing Stone to bring Steve back into Wonder Woman 1984, but the cost is that she loses her powers, so she has to sacrifice him again. In a tearful farewell, the couple promises to stay in touch no matter where they are. This not only gave Diana the courage to start letting people into her life, but it also hinted at a potential DCEU resolution for her. Steve's reappearance in Wonder Woman 3 would have allowed Diana to spend the rest of her days with the person she loved the most, regardless of whether he was revived using magic or as a counterpart from another dimension. Diana and Steve could have reunited, much like Captain America and Peggy Carter did in Avengers Endgame. Additionally, this would have separated Wonder Woman from other female superheroes, many of whom have their romantic interests taken away from them as in the Supergirl series, or have none at all, as in the case of Captain Marvel. Even though Wonder Woman is more than just her love life, it would have been ideal if her journey had ended with her finding true happiness with her true love. Outside of romance, the DCEU Wonder Woman lacked the time to fully develop deep connections with its human characters. Diana informs Cyborg that she's still working on letting people in Zack Snyder's Justice League. Diana still hasn't taken the necessary steps to forge friendships, despite her work with the Justice League being a step in the right direction. Wonder Woman 3 would have been the ideal setting for this to happen. Although there haven't been many developments in this plotline, there are hints in Wonder Woman 1984 that she maintained contact with Wonder Woman team until their deaths. Linda Carter's Asteria is another character whose narrative was started in Wonder Woman 1984, but is now probably never going to be finished. The second movie tells the story of Asteria, an Amazon who donned gold armor and battled off the male armies by herself to free the other Amazons and allow them to escape to Themyscira. Asteria appears in a marketplace in the Wonder Woman 1984 post credit scene and reveals that she has been assisting people for a considerable amount of time. The discovery that Linda Carter's Asteria was still alive opened the door to Asteria's journey and the possibility of her running into Gal Gadot's Diana. This is something that many people would like to see addressed, so smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Asteria might have served as Diana's mentor in Wonder Woman 3 by guiding her through the world of men and demonstrating to Diana that she shared their belief that while humanity may not deserve their assistance, heroes should always do what they believe to be right. Asteria's story is connected with Diana's, which would have helped develop another unresolved storyline. See you in the next video.